So here we are, game week. The Eagles take on the Patriots, and former head coach Mike Martz said on the 33rd team podcast that Bill Belichick will make life miserable for Jalen Hurts. Plus, Peter King with some more high praise on Jalen Hurts and the Eagles, Fletcher Cox, the big brother to Jalen Carter, and New England is coming into week one already beat up. What is going on, everybody? I go by Philly Mike, and this is the Philly Talk Podcast, and today we got a lot to get into. But before we do that, Eagle Nation, can I ask y'all for a favor? Help your boy out, hit that like, subscribe if you are new, and ding the bell. That way you're notified when we drop these videos, go live, or put out YouTube shorts. Let's get right into it. So Mike Marks on the Eagles at Patriots in Week 1. Bill Belichick will try to take the quarterback out the game. He'll have an answer for the RPO. He's going to make life miserable for Jalen Hurts. This is where I disagree. By just taking away the RPO ain't going to make life miserable for Jalen Hurts. He's more than just an RPO quarterback. We've seen him time and time again last year, went from the pocket. Now, I know this New England defense is really good. We're not going to break down DVOA or nothing in this video. We'll do that closer to Wednesday, Thursday for this upcoming game. But Jalen Hurts has only grown with his weapons grown from the pocket, and he will be able to execute anything that is called. And, of course, him, Sirianni, and Brian Johnson have to have a game plan if the RPO struggles early against a guy like Bill Belichick. I do believe this is the first time Hurts and Belichick will be facing off. We do got Matt Patricia on the roster, so maybe he can give a idea of how Bill Belichick is going to attack it, not just talking about stopping the RPO, but don't you ever put Jalen Hurts' game in a box. You'll see this week versus a top 10 defense. Continuing on with Jalen Hurts, Peter King has some high praises once again by stating he predicts the Eagles to win the Super Bowl and says, I don't think there's a clear weakness on the Eagles. Jalen Hurts is about to take his place with Patrick Mahomes and Joe Burrow at the very top of the quarterback pantheons. Big words from a guy like Peter King. But again, he's not talking about anything that anybody else hasn't said. Eagle Nation believes in Jalen Hurts. I wholeheartedly believe in this team, Nick Sirianni and Jalen Hurts, to pretty much say this. Look at this video. This is how much I trust Jalen Hurts, this Eagles offense, and their running back season. The guy who is holding the metal thing. That is how much I trust this offense, and we haven't even gotten to the defense yet, right? We get rid of JG, you bring in Sean Desai, you take a 70-sack team, and you add guys like Jalen Carter, Nolan Smith, you bring back, or you still got Sweat, BG, and Hassan Reddick, who all had double-digit sacks and are all still in their prime and getting better. BG not in his prime, but actually, he's been better as the years have come and gone and same with Fletch. Look what Jalen Carter said about Fletcher Cox. Fletch is a very good guy, Carter said. He talks to me every day, calls me. Even when we're on a break, he was calling me every single day, checking on my weight. He's been doing all that ever since I got here. Again, he's not just calling him, talking about the playbook. He's calling him to check on his weight, check on his mental health. What are you doing? You need anything? I got you. Fletcher Cox, who is a Hall of Famer, right? A all-time great Eagle is just cementing himself even more with the Philadelphia Eagles organization, taking a guy in like Jalen Carter, who we knew had semi-distractions, I could say, outside of football. But you get the Philly Dogs with him. You got a guy like Fletch, and the sky is the limit. Remember, this is Fox Sports NFL, your projected 2023 Defensive Rookie of the Year is Jalen Carter as voted on by NFL Fox and the fans, not Eagle fans, not anybody in particular. NFL Nation understands what this guy, Jalen Carter, is on the field. And when you got an organization who loves their players like the Eagles do, when you got dogs on the side like the Eagles do, it's going to be very, very, very hard to stop. Now, on to the Patriots. They will be retiring Hall of Fame, greatest quarterback ever, Tom Brady's jersey, and that is going to motivate Mac Jones, Bill Belichick. The New England crowd is going to be in it, and that's a tough stadium to play in, Gillette Stadium. Now, it's not going to be that cold simply because it's early in the season, 
but Tom Brady's presence, the retirement, is going to cause a semi-spark for this New England team. However, it's not Tom Brady playing against this Philadelphia Eagles defense. It's Mac Jones, a guy who can be distracted, can be tricked, can be disguised into making mistakes. He's not going to use his athleticism to really beat you. He's not as slow as Tom Brady. But I think when the dogs come hungry, Mac Jones is going to be in for it. And I can see him making a mistake or two early that just changed this game. Now, Bill Belichick's defense is good. But last year, I think off top of my head, the New England Patriots offense and total offense ranked 26. So we're going to get to top 10 defense, but a 26 rank offense who did have a right tackle and a wide receiver, but they're hurt. Patriots will be without their starting right tackle, Riley Reef, in the season opener. They signed him from Chicago. He was supposed to help out this offensive line for a guy like Mac Jones. And Juju smith Schuster, ex Steeler wide receiver Juju, knee is still a concern. The underrated story here is Juju smith Schuster's knee is a mess. And that thing could explode at any point, Albert Breer said on NBC Sports Boston. So you almost have to keep an extra wide receiver because of that. Explode? What is really going on with a guy's knee that it can explode at any moment? I don't know all the specifics, but their top wide receiver who they signed might be banged up and or his knee might explode week one against the Eagles. And their newly acquired right tackle is not going to be there. He's on IR. They signed a tight end. That means guys like Nolan Smith, Josh Wett, Hassan Reddick, Brandon Graham is going to be going against a backup right tackle. I mean, I could see multiple sacks in this upcoming game, and that's just going to put the league on notice. I understand we're going against a backup. New England ain't a powerhouse, but I think the Eagles are going to really show who they are against a formidable AFC East team. I said this. When the picture that I talked about earlier, I tweeted yesterday, he's dropping 40 on them. I don't know about 40, but I do see an offensive performance that is going to be duplicated throughout the year. The Eagles' offense is right now better than their defense. I got to see the defense come on the field and play. But last year, total offense, guess who was second in the NFL? The Eagles. The only team that had more yards total offense was the Kansas City Chiefs, and I think it's going to replicate. Burrow and the Bengals are going to be up there. There's going to be some teams that can throw the rock and run the ball. But the Eagles are going to be at the top of the food chain as they were last year. And this guy is going to be a big part of it. Don't forget to get yours. This is just the beginning. Air hurts. We sold a lot over the weekend. And it is a limited edition. I do believe we're going to stop around the season start, which is six days away. Link in the description, and you can find it in the pinned comment section. Get yours. But as I just said, six days away, I can't wait to see Devontae Smith in year three. There's been a lot of talk on Twitter. Uh, what is he? Is he a top 10 wide receiver? Is he top five? Is he better than C.D. Lamb? Is he not? It doesn't matter. Year three is when wide receivers go off, and I'm ready to see it. We, we saw it at Alabama. He won the Heisman off his year three play. And now you're coming in with a, you know, quarterback who's just gotten better and better and better. A weapon in A.J. Brown that has to be doubled at times and stopped. And what are you going to do about Devontae Smith? I don't know who's going to be the better receiver. And I don't really care at this point. Like A.J. Brown said, just appreciate both. I'm here to appreciate both. With all that being said, Drop the muscle emoji in the comment section if you got nothing else to say. Let me know your thoughts. Come Wednesday, Thursday, we will be breaking it down. DVOA, analytics, extra stuff. We'll bring in some game film on who's actually healthy and going to be playing. Knock on fake wood. The Eagles don't get no surprise injuries. It looks like a clean bill of health. I like what Nick Sirianni did all preseason. There might be rust factor, but at the end of the day, we are fully healthy and oh, by the way, we signed Nicholas Morrow to the practice squad. It's good to get a linebacker body who knows the system just in case. So now we got three on the active roster, two on the practice squad. With the new rules in IR, you can bounce them up and down on the roster. Pause. I don't know if that's really a pause required statement. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section, Eagle Nation. I love y'all. Get y'all shirts. And until next time, you know what time it is. We out. Peace.